In this video, I will continue talking about substitution. The video will cover F2. Let's look at what we can do when we have to substitute a variable into a formula, but then there is an additional step before we can evaluate the formula. So for example, in the first example, our formula is D equals 6A minus B. In this case, A is 3 and B is 5. So we can write that d equals to 6 times 3. Remember, 6a means 6 lots of a, or 6 times a. 6 times 3, take away 5. Our order of operations tells us that we need to do the multiplication before the subtraction. So we do 6 times 3, which is 18, take away 5. And finally, 18 take away 5 is 13. So we know that d equals to 13. If we look at another example, where a is 3, b is 5, but our formula is now e equals to 6 over a plus 5. Remember that 6 over a just means 6 divided by a. Let's see what happens. If we substitute, we find that 6 over 3 plus 5 Again, because of our order of operations, we will do the division first. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we can write that 2 plus 5, which will be 7. So the value of e is 7 in this case. Moving on to some slightly more complicated examples, where we have three variables to account for, a, b and c. The formula is f equals ab plus c. ab here just means a times b. If we substitute, we find that the first part will be 3 times 5. And then we add 4 to that. Again, we do the multiplication first. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4, which will equal to 19. Lastly, this one is a bit more complicated. We have a, b and c and the value for each. But our expression now involves multiplication and power. Remember from your order of operations that brackets come first and then powers and then multiplication or division and addition or subtraction. So we can see that because powers are before multiplication, we need to do the powers first. That means that the power A only belongs to C, not to B. So if we start substituting, G equals to 5, which is the value of B, multiplied by 4, which is the value of C, to the power 3, which is the value of A. 5 times 4 to the power 3. First, we have to do the power because of the order of operations. 4 to the power 3 is 64. 5 times 64. And lastly, we have to do the multiplication. 5 times 64 is 320. So the value of the variable g is 320 in this case. 